Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, me. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Fine. <laughs> and you? I'm great. Happy to see you here. <laughs> nice. Tell me, everybody, how are you? The rest of you, how do you feel today? Uh huh. Hello, Hello, Edwin. How are you? I'm fine. I'm. Uh, tengo sueño. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy. 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 Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> what 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 time did you uh, wake up today? Uh, at six a.m. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope, okay, don't worry. Let's have the class kind of fast <laughs> so you can relax. Yes. Like... <laughs> okay, coffee, coffee is the solution. Uh, oh, you don't drink coffee? Yes, but uh, uh, in, in the night, uh, you you say, you... Ah, okay, you get insomnia if you drink coffee at night. Yes. <laughs> okay. I understand. I, that I'm, that I'm happens a, to me. All men. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I but guess. you know it's very common. It happens to me too. Hello, Henry. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine. I I I I'm still on road. Oh my gosh. Okay, Henry, uh, be careful, please. Drive safely. Okay, we have a meeting to, uh, today. Ah, okay. Well, I hope you get, get home soon. Be careful, be careful. All right, Thanks. let's see. I can see Tony. Hello, Tony, how are you? Picture. you? I'm happy to see you here. Welcome to the class. So everyone, well, only two people have the camera on. Thank you, because Celia and Tony are always with the camera on. And the rest of you, I want to see you. Ah, there you are. Very good. I can see Carol. Hello, Carol. How are you? Hello, Miss. Uh, yeah, relax. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. How was your trip? Um, I know. Repeat, please. How was your trip? Trip ah uh, the trip trip. I don't know. I'm answering. Well, you said that you will travel, right? Ah uh, yes. Uh, uh -huh. it's very very good. Uh, the experience is great. <laughs> Ah, very good. Excellent, excellent. All right. Well, everybody, welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you here. And don't turn off the cameras. Come on, keep it on. Okay, everyone, it's Tuesday. And remember that this is the last week, okay? I have seen the platform and I could see that many of you are advancing on the platform. Excellent job, because remember, we need to finish the platform this week. On Friday, I'm going to upload the grades. So try to finish the platform. Remember this week on the platform is the final exam. Okay, so don't forget to take it and try to get a very good grade, all right? Okay. We are going to start. Oh, I can see Karen. Hello, Karen. How are you? Hello. How I do you fine. feel? All right. Very good. And I can see Carla. Hello, Carla. How are you? Hello. Fine. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Okay, everybody, let's start. I'm going to share the presentation. Let's see, can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes, yes. me. Excellent. Yes, so today is February 21st, okay? We are in the week number four. We are studying the last unit, the unit number four. What was the topic that we studied yesterday? 
Uh -huh. Let's see if you remember. Irregular verbs. Uh -huh. Very good. Irregular verbs. So we will continue practicing that. Okay, the topic for today is talking about performance report, always combining with the simple past. So the idea, everyone, is that at the end of the class, you can ask and answer information questions in simple past. Okay? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to the I, class. I am driving with gold listeners. Okay. Oh it's okay. No worries, Atilio. Be careful, please. Okay, so talking about the irregular verbs, remember everyone, there are a lot of irregular verbs, right? We just need to memorize them. Yesterday, I shared with you um, a list of different irregular verbs. So I hope you have studied that list. On your manual in the page 48, we have an exercise. So let's go to the manual, everyone. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 wait, 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 give me a second. On the manual page 48, we have a practice. And we have a list of verbs. And let's see if you already memorized these ones. So for example, the verb meet. What is the past form of the verb meet? Meet. So it's the same? Meet. 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 No. Met. Met. Ah, Meet. be careful. So Meet. be careful with the pronunciation. In simple present is meet. In simple past is met. met. Exactly. How about the number two? Have. What has. Is has. Has. Uh huh. Has. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Hmm. Has is the past form of the verb have. Had, had, sorry, ah. <laughs> Okay, remember everyone. Had. Yes, yes. Has <laughs> yes. is basically the third form, right? If you are talking about third person, we say has, but that is ah. always simple present. In simple past is had. Ah. Very good. Okay, speak. Spoke. Ah, much better. Very good. This one is easy. Go. When. Okay, very good. Easy. Do. Did. Good Did. job. Did. Write. Brought. Good. Stand. Sent. Stand. Basically, if you see, only one letter change. Read. 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 Ah, okay. Read has a characteristic. The spelling is exactly the same. The only difference is the pronunciation. In read. simple present, uh-huh. In simple present is read. But in simple past is Red, like the color, red. That's the pronunciation. Okay, so that's the only difference. How about C? So. Ah, very good. So, and run. <laughs> run. 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 Okay, very good, very good. So these are the verbs in simple past. If you see irregulars, they change totally. Okay, that's their characteristics. So there is not another way, but just memorize them. Okay, if you want to talk in simple past, you need to memorize the verbs, all right? So, Give me a sentence in simple past using one of these verbs. 
volunteer who wants to create a sentence in simple past using one of these verbs? Volunteer, please. I met an old friend. Old friend. Ah, very good. Excellent job. Someone else? Give me a I sentence. Have, I had breakfast at a. Good yeah. job. Very nice. Very nice. What I else? Saw, I saw a good movie. Very good. Who else? Who else? Give me I a sentence. I went to the cinema. Very nice. I spoke in the meeting. Meeting. Good. In the meeting. Good job. Uh huh. What else? What else? I, I wrote a wrote... letter. Okay. Someone else was saying something. I sent five emails. All right. Very good. I read the lesson. Okay, pronunciation? Read. Read. I read a lesson. Very good job. Okay, with did and ran. I ran the last Sunday. Good, very good. The last one, did. I did my homework. <laughs> good job. Very good. So exactly the way that you just did, that's the way that we can speak in simple past. Okay. So basically the structure in affirmative, you just need the subject, the verb in simple past, and the complement. So question, can I say, imagine in affirmative, can I say something like, ah, I did send emails. Hmm, can no. I say that? No, teacher. Why not? Uh, because it's like a redundar, no sé cómo se dice, teacher. Redundant? Redundant because you are using the auxiliary did uh, who is writing in past. And at the same time, you are using the uh, verb in past. Very good, exactly. So remember, in this case, we cannot use did. Remember, the auxiliary is only for the negative sentences or when we have questions. But in affirmatives, mm -mm, we don't need it. We just need the subject, the verb in past, and the complement. Clear, everybody? Any questions so far? No questions, are you sure? Mm, okay, I hope so. Because the idea is that today we will have a lot of practice always in simple past. So remember everyone, memorize the verbs. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, you know what to do. If you listen to your names, say present. Um, Abigail Mejia. Go, present. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Present. Okay. Atilio Ernesto. Present, teacher. Okay. Um, Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. Okay. Um, Celia Cristina. Present. All right. Henry Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Jorge Antonio. Present, teacher. Okay. Um, Jose Ezequiel. Present, teacher. Good. Juan Antonio. Present, teacher. Okay. Juan Jose Herrera. Present, teacher. All right. Karen Rocío. Present. Good. Carla Sofia. Present. Okay. Carol Elizabeth. Present. Good. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. All right. Lady Xiomara. Lady Xiomara. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Orlando. Okay, thank you. Um, Sandra Abigail. 
Present. Okay. Stephanie Michelle. Present. Okay. Jan Siquelita. Present, teacher. All right. Um, Jose, Edwin, Jose Marvin. Jose Marvin. Edwin Enrique. Present, teacher. Very good. Okay. Everybody remember, this is the last week. Okay, so be careful with the attendance. Okay, we need to get a very good score in the attendance. All right, so we already checked the affirmative form in the simple past, all right, it's very easy. Now, if I want to create a sentence in negative, what do I need to do? Negative, simple past. What do I need? The auxiliary did. Very good. Imagine if I say, for example, you played tennis. That's affirmative. Okay. You played tennis. If I want to say the same sentence, but in negative, the only things that I need to do is to add the auxiliary. So the sentence will be, you didn't play tennis. And what happens with the verb? Uh -huh. Do I need the verb in simple past or not? No, no. not it really. Doesn't change. Excellent, very good. So the verb doesn't change because I already have the auxiliary. So that is something everyone that again, be careful if you have auxiliary, remember the verb doesn't need changes anymore. Okay. Is it clear the negative form? Everyone? Yes, clear questions? Yes, teacher. It's clear teacher. <laughs> totally clear. Okay. <laughs> Let's have an exam. Yes. Uh -huh. no. <laughs> but you said that you don't have questions. Okay. Let's do a practice. It's not an exam, but we have to do it correctly. I have here some sentences and I want you to write the sentences in the negative form. For example, he went to school yesterday. That's affirmative. In negative, it will be, he didn't go to school yesterday. So I need the auxiliary and the verb in the base form. No more changes. How about the number two? They ate lunch at the cafeteria. What will be the negative form? They didn't they eat lunch at the cafeteria. Ah, very good. So basically, we just need to add the auxiliary. Can I say they didn't eat? No. 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 Exactly. We have to say they didn't eat because we have the auxiliary, the verb in the base form. Okay. I will be asking individually, one by one. So let me start with. Tony, Tony, can you tell me the negative sentence of the number three, please? Yes, teacher. Mm, my sister didn't play basketball with her friend. Very good. So my sister, oops, sorry. My sister didn't play basketball. So if you see in this case, we just need to put the verb in the base form and then the auxiliary didn't. Thank you, Tony. Next, Stephanie, can you tell me the negative sentence of the number four? Yes, teacher. I, I, let me see, I'm sorry. In negative, right? Yes, negative. I didn't read a new papers on the, on the train. That's the one. Very good job. Very good job. 
Okay, let's see. The next one is for Carol. Can you tell me the number five in negative, please? Mm. It this didn't uh, rain last week. Very good. It didn't rain last week. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Tu, 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 tu. Carla, number six, please. Mm, I didn't feel sick. So I saw a doctor. Okay, the second oh, I sent... didn't see Seria. Uh -huh, very good. So I didn't I feel didn't sick. See. So I didn't see a doctor. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see, Karen, can you tell me the number seven? Tomas has, Tomas didn't have a good time at the party. All right, so like this, uh, Tomas didn't have, like this? Karen? Yes, like this? Uh, yes. All right, are you sure? A good time at the party. All right, but what happens with the verb if I have the auxiliary? It uses in the basic form. Ah, good job. So remember, has is correct in simple present because it's third person. But what is the base form of has? Uh huh. Mm. What is the base form of the verb? Uh Excellent, has. that's the one. So instead of saying has, we have to say have. Mm. Thomas didn't have. Very good, very good. Okay, Juan Jose, number eight. Susan didn't like the movie. Very good, excellent job, excellent job. Number nine, let's see, Jorge Antonio. I didn't see you at the shopping mall on Saturday. Good job. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> and Celia, number 10. My wife didn't buy a new dress this morning. Okay, didn't buy a new dress. Ah, okay, my I'm wife. Sorry. My wife didn't buy a new hat this morning. Excellent yes. job. Very good, very good. So everyone, this is a way that we can create negative sentences. If you see, again, you just need subject. In this case, if it is in negative, you need the auxiliary didn't, and then you need the verb. But be careful, the verb is in the base form. No more changes. Is it clear, everyone, the negative structure? Yes, teacher. Yes. Can you tell me, everyone, something that you didn't do today? Uh huh. For example, today I didn't drink soda. How about you? Today, I didn't see the movie. Very good, all right. The rest of you, everyone, tell me something that you didn't do. Today, I didn't sleep at afternoon. <laughs> In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Right. Very good, very good. Who else, who else? What else didn't you do? 
today I didn't drive very fast. Ah, very good. Excellent. Be careful, be careful. All right. So everyone, that's the way that we can use the negative form. Easy. Just remember, don't forget the auxiliary. Now, I have a very important question. What happens if instead of using go or play, I say, hmm, I was at work in the morning. I want to say this sentence in negative. Do I need the auxiliary? Yes or no? No. Why not? Because you are talking about are uh, using you are using the the verb in this case, and you had to to use the verb in past. All uh, right. In this case, using the the was not or wasn't. Ah, good job. So everyone, be careful. We already checked the verb to be. In this case, remember, verb to be is powerful. Verb to be doesn't need auxiliaries, never, okay? So in this case, in simple past, was. If I want to say the sentence in negative, as your classmate said, I just need to say, wasn't. If you say, ah, I didn't, was, no, that's a mistake. So remember, with the verb to be, no auxiliary, right? Very good. So that was the negative part. Again, on your manuals, in the page 48, we had three sentences. I want you everyone to unscramble the words and create a sentences. Let me open the exercise on your manual so it can look bigger. So look at this. So unscramble the sentences, fun, conference, not, the, what. So what do you think? What is the sentence here? Remember, the subjects. Uh huh. Was not fun. Was not fun like this. Yeah. Uh, yes. Correct. Very good. The conference was not fun. If you see verb to be, I don't need auxiliary. Great job. How about the number two? Long speaker waiter. Da. Until we for arrived. Oh my gosh. What is this? What is the subject here? We the speaker. Okay, we or speaker? We. Okay, we. And then? Uh. We waited. Okay, we waited. Long. Long. Uh -huh. On to the speaker. Oh. <laughs> Until the speaker, the speaker, no, sorry, until for the speaker. Okay, until for the speaker. Um, we wait waiting for a long. Time. Along. Ah, okay. For along. For along. Okay. Mm, for me, sería with waiting. Waiting for a long. Talking with the speaker. Okay. Arrive. If you see, if you see in this case, the correct uh, form it will be for a long time, but I think that the word time is not here, but correctly we need the word okay so we waited for a long time right. until the speaker 
Arrived. Arrived. Very good. Excellent job. Very good. Okay, that was a little bit complicated. What about the number three? What will be the sentence? Hi, everyone. Hmm, what will be the people. subject? People. people. Attended. Okay, people attended. Uh -huh. And then? Less is como... Few. Algo como we... Less is like few. For example, few, few minutes. students, few minutes. So it's the same. Uh -huh. Less students. Less, less people minutes. at them. Ah, all right. Very good. So we can say less people attended. Okay. Less people attended. Attended where? The... The annual, annual, annual faltan palabras. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. I, I think an annual conference or something like that, but I, I but, don't see. But it. what about workshop? Workshop is. What is workshop? Workshop is like taller. Como ah, esos workshop. talleres. Uh -huh. The annual, annual workshop. Ah, okay. To this year, no. The annual, annual workshop. Less people to. Entiendo que es como que poca gente asistió al workshop. De este año. Ah, de este so. Workshop. Pero ahí está el tú. Tú, it has to be before. For example, um, some students didn't attend to the class yesterday. Another work, workshop this year. Okay. So I just What need about two? two. Pay attention in the sentence. Some students didn't attend to the class yesterday. Two. I don't put the two. Some students didn't attend to the class yesterday. I don't. I don't hear what what. what? Okay. What Pay attention. The workshop. Ah, some the students workshop. didn't attend to the class yesterday. They are so, not to workshop this year. Workshop. So annual two like this? To workshop. Mm -mm. No. Listen to the example that I'm saying. Some students didn't attend to the class yesterday. Where is the preposition to? At the beginning, in the middle, at the end. Some students didn't attend to the workshop class yesterday. This year. Mm. No. Okay, I'm going to help you with this. Look here. Two, after attended. That's why I was giving you the example. Some students okay. didn't attend to the class. So after attended, we can add the preposition to. So a little bit more complicated, the sentences, I know. So the idea, everyone, is always try to make sense. I know that sometimes for some of you unscramble uh, letters, uh, unscramble these words, it's basically uh, some of the most difficult exercises, but that is exercises that you need to practice more. 
So let's see. In the chat says, this year attended less people to the workshop. Hmm. Actually, if you switch the order, if you switch um, the position, it makes sense too. So um, it works. It works too. Very good. Okay, if you see everyone, Always follow the structure, subject, verb, complement, okay? Now, we already checked affirmative, negative sentences with regular verbs, with the verb to be. So, in the previous classes, we checked the yes, no questions. We studied the yes, no questions with the verb to be, but also with a different verb. If I have the verb to be, what do I need first? Uh huh. What you say, teacher? Was If I uh huh. If I have a just no question with the verb to be, I need the verb to be at the beginning. Do I need another verb if I have the verb to be? No. No, right? Only the verb to be. For example, yes. were you happy? Do I have another verb here? Were you happy? No, right? No. I don't no. have a different verb. Only the verb to be. So again, the verb to be doesn't need auxiliaries. Okay? But what happens if I have a different verb? For example, study. What do I need in order to create a question? Auxiliary. Correct. Budget and verb. Very good. So did you study? If you listen to the question, if the question has the auxiliary, you have to answer with the auxiliary. So did you study yesterday? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. That is the difference with the just no questions when we use the verb to be and when we use the different verbs. Teacher? Yes? What happened if I, if I type a, a verb in, in and present continued at, at the end of the, the question. For example, if you say, were you, um, were you happy working there? Can I use that? Yes. Actually, imagine, I'm going to write that question. Were you happy working there? If you see in this case, I have a verb in ING. Yeah. But... I don't need an auxiliary because look, yeah. I have the verb to be. Mm -hmm. In that okay. case, everybody, remember, verb to be doesn't need auxiliary, never. And if you have a different verb, in that case, definitely do need the auxiliary. So imagine um, that I have the sentence, for example, a, where you eat at the beach? Does it make sense? Where you eat at the beach? Can I say that? Mm. Where you eat at the beach? Don't the commissions and apply. Mm. But this is the past of the verb to be. So I have the verb to be. Ah, does it make sense? Estuviste, comiste, estuviste comer en la playa? <laughs> Tendría que ser y, y agregarle y, ing, ¿no? All right. If you want, you can add ing. So in that case, it will say, estuviste comiendo en la playa? All right. Or <laughs> simply we remove the verb to be did and we eat? exactly did you eat at the beach so just remember if we add ing it's not simple present anymore 
is past, past continuous. Exactly. Past continuous. Correct. So the rule that you have to remember is with the verb to be, you don't need auxiliary. If you have another verb that is not the verb to be, so you need the auxiliary. That's it. That's what you need to remember. And remember everyone, if I'm asking you with the verb to be, you have to answer with the verb to be. If I'm asking you with the auxiliary, please answer with the auxiliary. For example, imagine if I say, let's see, hey everybody, um, were you at home last night? What is the answer? Were you at home last night? Yes, I was. Ah, good job. Did you watch TV? No, I didn't. Good. Very good. Very good. So if you see, if the question is with the verb to be, easy. Answer with that. If the answer, I mean, if the question is with did, answer with did. Is it clear, everybody, the just no questions? Yes? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Because this is the moment for questions. No questions? <laughs> okay, if you don't have questions, I do. Okay, everybody, it's time to practice speaking. I know that all of you want to talk. So I have these questions. In these questions, I have verb to be and also I have different verbs. So volunteer for reading the question number one. What did you do for your last birthday? Thank you. Okay, it has to say your, I'm going to fix it. It has to say, what did you do for your last birthday? Uh -huh, everybody, remember your last birthday? What do you do? I ate cake. Cake? Cake. Ah, oh, very good. Very good. Was it delicious? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Did you invite your co-workers? My co-workers bought the cake. The cake. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, nice. <laughs> All right, everybody, how about you? What do you do for your last birthday? Teacher. Uh -huh. In my case, in my last birthday, I went to Arjona's concert. <gasps> a friend, no um, a friend, gave me a ticket for the <gasps> concert. Wow, that's a wonderful gift. I wanted to go, but I couldn't buy a ticket. <laughs> I mean, they were sold out very fast. Oh, uh, did you like the concert? Yes, Was I it like. Good? It right. was perfect, but. Um, this day is what's raining. Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember the news. Some people were with umbrellas. That's true. But you were there. But it nice was interesting. <laughs> it was new good. experience. Yeah, definitely. Excellent job. So if you see everyone, I wanted to answer these questions and try to give me details. Okay, try to mention at least three activities. For example, I went to the concert. A friend gave me the ticket. It rained, so I got wet. So you see, different activities. Now, question number two, volunteer for reading, please. Who was your favorite teacher in this high school? High school? Why? Good. Uh -huh, everybody. Let's go back in time. Remember high school? Who was your favorite teacher? The, my favorite teacher was electronic. And why? 
because I love in in this moment I love electronics. <laughs> that was your favorite subject. Yeah, I studied I studied that. Ah, okay. And the rest of you, everyone, do you remember your favorite teacher in high school? No? Oh my goodness. I don't remember her name, but... Uh, what, what was um, the subject? No, the, the nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> I remember the I, rem I remember uh, another teacher, my, t my English teacher. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, but hold she, on. She was, she was my crush. In high yeah. school? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you tell her, like, hey, I have a crush on you? Did you tell her? Eh, ¿Cómo sería? Este... She knows. She knows. <gasps> wow. <laughs> And what she did, was what, what for every, every... All men, everybody so, had a crown uh, on her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, everyone. Sorry. Okay, let's see. But Tony, what was the nickname? El Chile. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, everyone. And what was the subject, Tony? Uh, the, um, um, in, in this time, uh, the computation, uh, the com com compute, no com computation. Okay, his everybody. His name, he uh, is how... uh, El Chile. <laughs> But it was a, it was a man, I, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. It was a man. <laughs> okay, imagine like if, <laughs> if you want to say la clase de computation, we can say computer science, just uh, like that, or just uh -huh. computing with ing. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Computing. All right. Interesting. Teacher. Okay. Yes. And informatica is another thing. Not really. It's basically the same. Okay. Yeah. In our educational system, we are just talking the same. All right. So everybody, we will go in teams. Okay. And I wanted to discuss these questions. Remember that the idea is to practice simple past. So try to provide as many details as possible. In this moment, you can use any kind of verbs. You can use regulars or irregulars, no problem. If you see that the question has the verb to be, so you can also include the verb to be. For example, ah, my favorite teacher was, and you continue talking. And don't forget to explain the reason why. Why was your favorite teacher? Okay, and in the next question, for example, tell me about what you did for the last 24 hours, 24 hours. So try to give me details, okay? Try to give me as many details as possible because the more you talk, the more verbs you will practice, okay? So I'm sending the questions on with SAP's group. So you can have the questions. And remember everyone, I want to, everybody participates. This is the moment that you have to take advantage. Try to practice. Again, no Spanish. If you listen to your classmates that maybe they say a verb in present, so tell them, um, no, <laughs> right? Uh, you have to say the verb in this in this way. Or if you listen to your uh, classmate that doesn't know how to say a word in English, so help them. If your classmate said a mispronunciation with the regular verbs, also try to help them. The idea is to help each other, okay? So everybody, let's go to the groups and let's practice.
Hello. Hello. How are you, Stephanie? Are you ready? Hello, yes. Carla. Okay. The first question is, what did you do for your last birthday? What did you do? What did you do for your last birthday? I was to celebrate in a city uh, in a Guatemala city. Okay. Yes. And I I ate too much food and and I have a a picture. Okay. Yes. And I and I know the first for the first time uh a giraffe I think I think is I think uh, um, to say giraffe, uh, the animal. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Only that. And you? Uh, in my case, uh, I ate taco de birria. <laughs> oh. <laughs> delicious. Really um, delicious. I I drank a little beers. <laughs> Please, Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, you need chains <laughs> <laughs> to to I... <laughs> the teacher Clarissa. I think the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> the emoji. El... <laughs> and finally, I. Uh, I don't know if it's correct. Uh, I took a day off. Day off. Uh huh. Uh, in my work. Oh. It, excellent. You you ate uh, you ate cake. B birthday cake. Uh, I I don't like the the cake, <laughs> but my family uh, ate a cake. Oh. <laughs> I don't like a uh, sweet. Uh, oh really? Uh -huh, sweet cake, sweet. How do it... you say postres, teacher? <laughs> Deserts. Ah, desert, sweet desert. I don't like. Oh. <laughs> but the beers hmm yes <laughs> <laughs> and and the coffee with a sugar <laughs> okay all right okay <laughs> okay um, henry are you there uh, oh no i'm still driving <laughs> ah okay okay, okay. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, Carla uh, cannot talk in this moment either. I don't know, Kenya, if Kenya can participate or if it is listener. Yes, teacher. You can, you can yes, participate? Sure. I'm here. Yes. Ah, great. In my case, for my birthday, I did many activities. Um, I went to the beach with my friends. Uh, I tried to celebrate all the month. And... I went to the Arjona's concert. I uh, traveled with my brother to Mexico. And I um, and I ate a delicious food with my family too. That's all. Wow, Kenya. That was a nice celebration, actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Excellent job, everyone. Super good because you are giving a lot of details. 
I love that. Continue with the next questions and continue giving details, okay? Very good job. Okay. Thank you. Hey. Chocolate, um, okay. And the second question is How was your favorite teacher in high school? Why? In my case, I didn't have a favorite teacher. In my case, uh, teacher, how do you say chimica? We say chimica. Chemistry? Chimica? Oh, yeah. Chimica. Why? Human, human person, human person. In my case, my favorite teacher, it was uh, the teacher's sci uh, natural science. Um, because um, she, she developed it, develop it as teacher. How is the pronunciation? Develop it? Developed. Developed. But in past, in past, it's the same? Just add the T sound. Developed. Oh, okay. okay. Because she developed um, the class good. Um, and I could understand uh, the class. That's my, my answer. Number three is tell me about what you did or the last. Um, uh, the, um, the, the teacher Carlitos, the, the mismo. He was the same teacher in history yes. and language. Yes. Okay. Okay. And you, Luis Miguel? Who was your favorite teacher in high school? If you, if you, uh, if, if it's possible, talk to you. My favorite teacher was uh, electronic science, I think. Electronic science, and what, and what was her name? Daniel, Daniel okay. Perez. Okay. Daniel Perez. She teach me a lot of things. Uh, he, he think, I have a very good creativity for for design new uh, se circuitos. No? I don't know. Circuits. Circuits. Yeah. Circuits. Mm -hmm. And for me, is in this moment be was something new. I enjoy it every class. Okay, okay, perfect. And for me, um, the teacher that was so impressionant uh, in this time, uh, uh, a lot of time uh, back, um, in 1991, yes, 1991, um, we, we need to take three years of mechanographic. I don't know if the, the, the correct name of, of this class, but- um, The tape, we, typing, typing. Typing, ah, okay. Typing. Uh, we, we, 
we had a three year of mechanography. And then in, in the switch of 1991, the, this, this um, subject, this materia, uh, was changed for uh, computing, for computing science. And we only have to learn one year and then we pass, we pass it to the computer sci computing science. And then the prophet or, or the well, prophet, uh, is this a, a, a funny form to, to, to say the, the teacher? Um, I don't remember the, the, the name. I only remember the last name, Alvarado. But all the people uh, say that he, uh, his face uh, is like a chili because her mandibula quijada or what for I don't know what is, what is the name of this. She is like a chili, like a chili in, in, with a uh, pronunciation of her bear, superba. And then he, he is like a, like a chili. And but this, but in this time, uh, he was so funny to learn, and the um, the, and the subject is was very interesting, and we had a, a new computer in, in in the college, and is uh, is is awesome for 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 uh, our years and for our young. It was very uh, awful, uh, no, um, awesome, awesome to learn in computer in this time. Uh, and now, Celia, please, ask to all the group, or ask to all the the, the, um, the team right now, the third uh, answer, please, or the third sentence. Um, I work, I work it all day. <laughs> And I brought many documents later. I wrote or write or check. Brought. Brought wrote. is. Okay. Uh -huh. You wrote many legal documents. Okay. Yes. And I drove to Samuel from Daunio. And I call call it um, to many people because call it to many people, okay. Because I didn't stay in my office <laughs> and well. Mm. Mm. I remember when I had eighteen years, I know I knew um to my best friend lived in front in front of, uh, well, in this time, uh, my mother and I, um, went to the, to the new house and, uh, this person lived in front of the, the new house. Um, Actually, uh, he is my my best friend. Um, I was eight years, mm, more or less. Since nineteen eighty eight. Yeah, and and in this moment he is my my best friend. Okay. 
His name is Jose Alfonso. Okay. Karen, who was your best friend? Um, my best friends was and will be my, my mom. Okay. And who was your best friend? Juan Jose. Okay. My best friend's name was Jaime. He went to USA with his family and I have not seen him uh, for 10 years. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Kenya? In December, um, on Christmas, because I spent time with my family, um, we had the opportunity to to share many activities. And after we saw movies with my brothers. Okay, nice. In my case, I was. Uh, happy on December 18th <laughs> because Argentina oh, yeah. was <laughs> was champion of the world. <laughs> yes, the the this game is a uh, very excited, very excited. Yes, yes. yes. But uh, it uh, was uh absolute uh, final, creo, no? <laughs> yes. final. Messi Messi changed very life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it and it was a manio. No, teacher. No, teacher come on. <laughs> yeah, it was a manual. <laughs> you know, I was trying to figure it out. How can we say a manual in English, right? And we can say ringing, ringing, like, ringing. like with double D. Because I'm going to share with you um the meaning according to the dictionary. Okay. okay. So look, ringing, but we add like people, right? Ringing people. So mm -hmm. it's manipulated or controlled by <laughs> deceptive or dishonest. So okay. if you want to say, say like a manual, so we can say ringing. Oh, ringing. Yeah. <laughs> ringing. Okay. So I think that Argentina won because of that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, come on, it's, it's very evident. How do you say it? No estoy de acuerdo. I don't agree. I don't agree, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So good, everyone. So everybody answered all the questions? Yes. Excellent. Well, we don't have more time. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you. Bye. Time's up. Okay, let's go back. Time's up, time's up. We are going to wait for everyone. All right, interesting, everybody. A lot of, you are very talkative today. I like that. You were providing a lot of details. Very good job, very good job. Okay, let's wait for everyone. Some of your classmates are still in the breaking rooms. 
Okay, let's see. Well, everyone, something, I, I mean, I feel really happy to listen to you uh, talking in simple past. You are using the verbs in the past. You are trying to pronounce correctly the regular verbs. Very good job. You are giving details. And the most important thing is that you sound very confident, very natural. I mean, you are talking just like if you were talking to a friend. So nice job. How did you feel during the practice? Was it easy? Where, I mean, did you feel nervous during the practice? Uh-huh, nervous? Sometimes, teacher, uh, when I forget some words. All right. And the rest of you? Did you feel nervous when you were practicing with your, with your classmates? Yes, teacher. <laughs> really? <laughs> but you know what? I mean, I'm asking this because nobody sounded nervous, actually. When I entered to the different groups, I just listened to you, everyone. You are talking like very fluent, providing a lot of details. Sometimes in the groups, they are laughing. They are including even more questions. So super good job. And that's what I want. Try to speak as much as possible. All right. You are doing great. You are following the structures. I know that sometimes uh, we forgot some words, right? Sometimes we forgot the verb or we don't know how to say specific words. I was listening, for example, in some groups, we don't know exactly how to say some subjects, I mean, some school subjects. So basically what we need is vocabulary and that is something that little by little we will learn. That's why I sent you a picture on WhatsApp's group with some of the most common school subjects. So try to practice the vocabulary and try to remember them. And again, if there is a word that you don't know, you know what to do, dictionary, okay? Now, excellent job, everybody. I, I really feel super happy for you that you are improving a lot. So keep practicing, keep memorizing the verbs. You are doing great and keep going, give details. Did you listen to Spanish in your groups? Uh huh. Did you listen? No Spanish, or just a little bit. One percent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's much better, right? So, imagine everyone, little by little, we will improve in that area. Okay, so please keep going. Don't give up and practice. The people who practice more that's the people that improve more don't be shy okay in this moment you have to talk because here is when we can make mistakes so don't be shy we will continue practicing more speaking okay but now it's time to check another topic it's very simple remember the structure with the just no questions auxiliary, uh, then we need the verb, then, I'm sorry, the subject, then the verb and complement. With the double H questions or information questions is very simple too. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, miss. Yes, excellent. So let's see the double H questions or information questions. In the double H questions, everyone in simple pass is very simple. The first things that you need is the double H word. For example, where, when, how, why. Do you remember another double H word? Because we have more. Do you what? remember? What? What? Uh huh. What else? <laughs> who who very good any other one how 
All right. Good. Uh, yes. yes, it's here. So we have different double-edged word. So if you want to ask which? an information, ah, which, very good. So look at the structure. You need the double-edged word, okay? What do I need next? Ciliary. Very good. The auxiliary, then the Sub subject. And what happens with the verb? Is in past? No. No, based form. Okay, so that is the structure that you need to follow if you want to ask information questions in the past. Double H word, auxiliary, subject, verb in the base form, and then I just need the complement. Now, just in case that you don't remember, let's review the meaning for each double H word. For example, why? When can I use why? Can I use why to ask about a choice? Yes or no? Hmm, no, right? Can I use why to ask about a person? No, is no, right? right? Ah, is <laughs> about a reason. Very good. Uh-huh. How about when? A time, day, or year. All right. Jim. When we are talking about the time, excellent job. How about where? A place. A place. All right. Very good. When we are talking about a place, how about this one? How? Person. Are you sure? No, a method, a method. or yeah. uh, a method or um, a manner. Yeah. Which? First one, a choice. When we have choice, correct. Who? This is a person. Exactly. This is when we need to ask for a person who's. The owner. The owner. The owner, <laughs> correct. And the last one, what? I think or let I think. me see, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> let me think. <laughs> I'm not pretty sure. <laughs> All yeah. right. Super good. So it is important, everybody, to know the meaning of these questions. So if we don't understand the double edged word. Sometimes we are not going to be able to answer. And this is a very common mistake. Sometimes the question is, where did you go? And we didn't pay attention in the word where, and we answer something different. Or sometimes we say, when did you go? And we say, ah, I went to the beach. Can I answer like this? When did you go? Ah, I went to the beach. Is that correct? Does it make sense? No. No. No, because when is for time. I need to say when. I need to give a time, a date. All right? So it's very important to have clear the meaning of these ones. Is it clear all the meanings for the double H word or is it a double H word that you don't understand very well? This is a moment. If you have questions, tell me so I can explain, no problem. Are all the double H words clear, everyone? Are you sure? All right, I hope so. Okay, so if it is clear, let's have a practice. Let's create sentences using the double H words and the structure. For example, look at the first sentence says, Sam washed 
the car. I need to create a question that starts with the word why. So what do I need? I need the auxiliary, subject, the verb in the base form, and the complement. Why did Sam wash the car? How about the number two, everyone? I'm going to open up the exercise, uh, this one. They ate dinner. I need to create a question that starts with where. So what could be the question? Where uh -huh. did they eat dinner? All right. Do you agree, everybody? Where did they eat dinner? Is that correct? Yes, teacher. Totally. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Number three, I saw my friend. Hmm. Let's create a question using who. What will be the question? Who did see my friend? Who did see my friend? Do you agree, everybody? Yes, teacher. Mm, but what happens with I? Do I need to add the word I? Which teacher? Which one? In the number three. Remember, it says who I. Did, oh. Who did I see my friend? Okay. And in this case, remember. No, it's who. Ah. It's necessary subject. Look who. What is the meaning of who? Quien. Ah. So what will be the question? <laughs> okay, look, the question will be like, who did I see? Y que estoy preguntando ahí, ¿a quién vi yo? ¿A quién vi? I saw my friend. All right? So, in this case, ¿a quién vi? Um, I saw my friend. Si no le agregamos el sí, y dir diría like, who did see my friend? Mm, but, ¿quién ve mi amigo? amigo? Doesn't make a lot of sense. So, who did I see? I saw my friend. Uh huh. Give me my moment. Okay, Atilia, it's all right. Now, volunteer for the number four. The telephone rang. What would be the question, everyone? The telephone rang. Create a question using when. When did the telephone ring? Very good. When did the telephone ring? Excellent job. Volunteer for the number five. They came to school by bus. Hmm. How? What do I need next? How did they come? How did they come? Excellent. Even you can add more compliment like how did they come to school? Right? Or just how did they come? Very nice. Look at the number six. Miss Brown bought a new coat. So what will be the question here? What? What did Brown buy? What did Miss, Miss Brown buy? Buy. Very good. What did Miss Brown buy? So this is the way, everyone, that we can create information questions. If you see, it's very simple. What do you need? I need the double H word. After the double H word, I need the auxiliary deed. 
After the auxiliary, I need the subject. I need the verb in the base form. And then I just need the complement. Simple as that. Is it clear, everyone, the way that we can create information questions? Yes? Yes, teacher. Are you sure? Now, what happens if I have an information question, but with the verb to be? Hmm. What will be the structure? What will be the difference? Let's go back to the structure. This is the structure when I have a different verb. But what happens if instead of wash, I have the verb to be? What is the structure that I need to follow? Easy, it's the same structure as the just no question. I need a double edge word, then I will need the verb to be. That can be was or where. Then I need the subject and I just need the complement. Okay? As simple as that. For example, I can ask you, when was your birthday? That could be an example of information questions using the verb to be. So the structure is basically the same. You just need to put the double H word at the beginning. And remember, again, if you have the verb to be, you don't need auxiliaries. Is it clear, everybody? Teacher? Yes? Uh, uh, we had to to change the, the auxiliary to did instead of was? Just if you have the verb to be. Okay. Uh-huh. If you have the verb to be, you don't need the auxiliary. Basically, you just put the verb to be. Okay. But, uh -huh. but if in the sentence you have another verb, auxiliary. Okay? Let's do a practice, everyone. I want you to practice these topics because I want you to be able to create excellent questions, okay? So I'm going to show you these sentences. These sentences are on your manual, okay? So let's go to the manual again. We are going to create sentences or questions. Look at this. Some of these ones are questions some of these are sentences. If you see the question mark, it's because it's a question, okay? So I need all of these sentences in past. For example, look at the number one. I be at the cinema last night. Be is in the base form, but I need the sentence in simple past. What will be the sentence? I was uh -huh. at the cinema last night. Very good. I was at the cinema last night. Perfect. So if you see the word be, remember, is the verb to be. You just need to change it into the past. Okay? So I will give you three minutes so everybody complete the sentences in your notebooks. Use the past form of these verbs to create the sentences. In this case, if you see the verb to be, remember, you don't need the auxiliary, okay? Let's create the questions. I will give you three minutes. Analyze the sentences. Remember, if you have the verb to be, you don't need auxiliary. If you have questions, let me know, please. Try to create the sentences.
complete the sentences. Let me know when you finished. Remember, if you have the verb to be, no auxiliary, okay? Be careful, put the words in order. I will give you one more minute. Complete the sentences, everyone. Okay, do you have the answers? What is the correct question in the number two? We be in a cafe when you called. Where be in a cafe when you called? Very good. Look at this. Where we in a cafe when you called? That's the correct one. Excellent job. Number three, what will be the correct question? Was I, I late? late? Was I late? Very good. Excellent. Number four. Were they late for an interview? Were they late for the interview? Very good. Excellent. So... Pay attention, if you see here, we have just no questions and information questions. Number five, what will be the sentence? What was his name? Very good, what was his name? Number six. Why were you late? Okay, why were you late? Perfect. So everyone, this is the way that we can create information questions. We already practice creating information questions with different verbs, and we already practice creating questions with the verb to be. Is there any question, everyone? Is there is something that you don't understand very well? Questions? Mm, okay, if you don't have questions, look at these scenarios. I'm going to show you different scenarios and I want you to create questions. For example, imagine everyone that I say, hey, you know what? I went to a concert. What questions can you ask me? In simple past, you can use the verb to be or you can use any other verb. Ask me questions about this. Hey, I went to a concert. Uh huh. Ask me questions. Where you were last night? Where you were last night? Like this? Yeah. Mm, actually, the structure is correct, but remember, ask me questions related to the sentence. I went to the concert. Just imagine that we have a conversation, and I say, hey, ¿saben qué? Ayer fui, eh, yo fui a un concierto. I mean, pero solo le digo eso, right? Just, I went a concert. What type of questions can you ask me? ¿Qué creen que me podrían preguntar? about that. For example, I ask, what? when, right? When did you go? When did you go to the concert? Ah, I went yesterday, for example. What else? How was it? Very good. How was it? How was the concert? Ah, it was very good. It was awesome. What else? 
who was the singer? Very good. Who was the singer? Great job. Anything else? I can ask, for example, who did you go with? Ah, I went with my best friends, right? So we are asking questions. We are using different verbs and also we are using the verb to be. So the questions help us to have a conversation. Now, look at the next scenario. Imagine everybody that I say, hey, you know what? I lost my cell phone. So what could you ask? We can just do it, teacher. Yes, of course. All type of questions. Did you call your number? Very good. Did you call your number? What else? Can you tell me another question? Hey, I lost my cell phone. How did you feel? <laughs> okay. Okay, how did you feel? Terrible. I wanted to cry. What else? Give me where a question. You, where did you lose it? Where did you lost it? Very good. I think that it was in the park. Give me a question with when. Oh, sorry. Where did you lose it? How about with when? Can you give me a question using when? Mm -hmm. No? For example, when did it? Or when did you lose it? Ah, I lost it last weekend, right? So we are asking questions. How about, yes, tell me. What place visits? Okay, what place? Okay. Okay, what place visit? Good. I just need auxiliary and subject. Where do I need the auxiliary? What did? Uh-huh. What Play. did? Now, uh, but I need subject. You. Good. What did you place? In this case, you want to ask que lugares visité, right? So what we can say is what places and then did you visit, okay? What places did you visit? Don't forget, if we have a different verb, auxiliary, and we always need the subject. Now, look at the next scenario. Uh, you know what, everyone? I went to the cinema. Ask me questions. Hey, I went to the cinema. Did you like the movie? Okay. Did you like the movie? Actually, yes. What else? What movie did you see? Very good. What movie did you see? Okay. Who ah. did you go? Who? Who do you did go you with? Go. Ah, who did you go? And in this type of question, at the end, you just always need to add with. Who did you go with? With. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Any other questions that you may have? No? All right. So if you see everybody, this is the way that we can ask. It's very simple. Don't forget, you just need to add double H word auxiliary, subject verb, and complement. In the case that you have the verb to be simple, you just don't need the auxiliary, okay? 
That's the way that we can ask information questions. Is it clear, everybody? Yes? Clear as horchata <laughs> or as water? <laughs> as water. water. As a water. Water. <laughs> as is water. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. Come on. Okay. If it is clear, let's do the last practice because we don't have a lot of time. Everybody, I want you to write only three. Simple, everyone. Only three questions, but please, I want information questions. Okay, I want you to use simple past and then you have to interview your classmates. Only three questions, follow the examples. For example, look at the first question. What do you eat for lunch today? So I have double-edged word, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement, easy. Another example, where did you go on your last vacation? Again, double-edged word, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. When did you buy your cell phone? The same structure, okay? So that's what I want you to do right now. Try to ask double H questions in simple past and follow this structure, okay? Only three questions, everyone. Is it clear the activity? Yes? Se entiende la activity? Is it clear? Yes. yes. Okay, while you are writing the sentences, write the sentences in your notebooks, please. While you are writing the sentences, I'm going to check attendance again. So if you listen to your names, say present. Abigail Mejia. Present. Andrea Amalia. Atilio Ernesto. Here I am, teacher. Okay, Carlos Alberto. Present, Miss. Okay. Celia Cristina. Present. All right. Henry Alberto. I'm here. Okay. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Antonio. Oh, he's in a call, right? Okay. Um, Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Rocío. Present. Okay. Carla Sofía. Okay. Um, Carol Elizabeth. Kenya Elizabeth. Present, Present me. teacher. Okay, okay. Um, Lady Xiomara. Um, Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Orlando. Present. Okay. Sandra Abigail. Present. Okay. Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Good. Jan Siquelita. Present me. Good. Jose Marvin. Hi right, teacher. All right. And Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, everybody. Do you have your questions ready? Yes. Yes, everyone? Everybody? Present. Oh, yes, Tony, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, everybody, did you create all the questions? Okay, we are going to go and you will interview your classmates. Okay, the idea is everybody asks the questions and everybody will answer. Remember, in this case, these are information questions. So we cannot answer just with yes or no. Uh-uh, we have to give details. 
All right. So for this activity, we only got five minutes, everybody. So try to take advantage, take a, the time, please be careful and no Spanish. Try to give details, please. And if your classmates ask a question and the structure is not correct, help them, okay? And try to correct them, okay? Let's go to work. And good evening. What is your question? You have question. Mm -hmm. First. Que no las tengo. Ah, okay. Carla, hello, good evening. Okay, so we have to to my first question. What did you do in the morning? Es que no tengo las preguntas. O yes. Cualquiera. My, my first question is, what did you do in the morning? Answer. Your answer. Um, I was uh, get, get up at uh, 7 a.m. Huh? I was eating and breakfast eight uh, o'clock. Mm -hmm. Um, I was um, go to work. Okay. We have more people here. I have Abigail. Hello, Abigail. Abigail, are you there? Okay, and Henry, can you participate or are you still driving? I I, I stay in my house, but I don't understand the indication. All right, in this case, only Celia has the questions, I'm afraid. So Celia will ask the questions and everybody in the group answer, please. Okay? Uh, what did you do in the morning? Uh-huh. What did you do in the morning? What do you do in the morning? Remember, we need to answer in simple past. For example, ah, uh, in the morning, I woke up early. I had my breakfast. I took a shower. So we are saying all the answers in simple past. So, uh -huh, everyone, what do you do in the morning? Okay, let's see. Next question, Celia. Ask to Karen. What did you eat uh, in the lunch? I have chicken so for lunch. Nice. Okay, next question. 
Yes. Okay. Questions? Ask me your question. Okay. What did you do today? Okay. I woke up around 7.30 and took a shower. Um, and I start to work around 8 o'clock. And I had a lot of meetings. And after work, I had a teacher uh, English class. Okay. Uh, next question. Where did you work before your actually work or job in this case? Where what? Where did you work before your actually or currently work or job? Okay. I worked for uh, La Constancia. La Constancia. Yes. That was my last work before that I have to die. To, um, that I have right now. Okay. And what what was your position there? In my last job? Yeah. Okay. I was in the technical support department. Excellent. Because the the food is very bad. Oh. Yeah, I um really yesterday and today I ate chicken. Yesterday and chicken today chicken with vegetables. Yesterday for it chicken. Yeah. Tomorrow oh, soup chicken. <laughs> Yeah, I soup chicken and then and, uh, yeah, it, uh, the food is so is very bad in my work. Okay, in my case, it, uh, the food is very bad because I have oh, how do you say lleva? Carry. Carry. Because I carry my lunch. I prepare my lunch. It's, it's too much better. It's my health. A little aceite. How do you say aceite? Mm. Oil. <laughs> Oil. 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 In my, Oil. In my lunch, sometimes I bought uh, some fruit because the uh, the food is I don't like. All right. Me too. <laughs> uh -huh, Me too. I prepared in my house the lunch, but in my work, um, no good ate ate the lunch, but um, is similar today. Yeah, and and it's so bad, and and sometimes it's very expensive. Yes, it's bad, good, and expensive. Oh yes. my gosh! Okay, everyone, how can I say sopa de pollo? Chicken stock. That's the chicken. one. Remember, oh. first I say the word chicken, and then I said the word soup. Oh. So chicken soup. 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 So how can I say soup. sopa de frijoles? Bean soup. Exactly. Bean soup. The first word is beans and then the word soup. Okay. okay. Now, okay. Um, did you all ask your questions? Yes. 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 Excellent. Let's go back to the main room because we don't have more time. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. 
time's up, everybody. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, okay. Interesting questions. Very good job. Okay, everybody. How was the practice? Was it easy? Yes or no? Uh huh. Easy, difficult. <laughs> ah, okay. Did you understand the questions that your classmate asked to you? Yes. Ah. Because the difficult is explain to the what is your activities or, for example, when you say what the um, lunch. Explain to the um, kind of food. Ah, okay. and that is about the vocabulary, right? Because imagine you can say, ah, what did you eat for lunch? Okay, but how can I say, imagine if I ate a salad? I know how to say salad, but if I want to say all the ingredients, could you say rabano, remolacha? I mean, those type of vocabulary, right? Or imagine, I know that you can say chicken. Ah, yeah, chicken. But how about if I want to say eh, pollo frito, right? Or pollo en salsa, that is very common in our country. So vocabulary. So no worries, in the next levels, in each level, we will start in different vocabulary, vocabulary about food, vocabulary about the restaurants, everything. But you can start uh, practicing, okay? There is an app, actually, that is very good app in order to learn vocabulary for different um topics. And let me see if I can share it right now. So you can download this app, it's going to help you a lot if you want to learn vocabulary. Very fast, I want to share it with you. Look at this. Can you see the screen? Yes? Yes. So the name, yes. the name of the app is English Vocabulary. The logo is, is like this, okay? And this app is, is actually is very useful if, for example, it has different options. Let me see if I can open it. For example, imagine you want to learn about fruit. So they have the vocabulary there. Or if you want to learn about animals, about desserts, eh, accessories, even if you want to learn about humans, body, the organs, everything, they have different vocabulary list. So look, um, also they have, um, for example, if you want to learn about beverage, about everything, right? And the nice thing about this app, everyone, is that they have uh, um, like little exams. So just to see if you truly memorize uh, the vocabulary. So if you want to learn vocabulary in a very simple way, you can download this app. Believe me, it's very useful and that can help you a lot. Now, uh, we don't have more time, uh, just very fast. Let me explain something that I could listen to in the practice. But uh, I just want to say that today Marvin has to stay. He's the winner for today, okay? So Marvin, you stay. The rest of you, before leaving, just let me show you some sentences and let me ask you if the sentences are correct. If I say, I was it. Is that correct? I no. was it. No. What is the correct one? I ate. Exactly. Remember, I cannot have the verb to be in the other verb. I just need the verb in past. In this case, I ate. I was to go or I was go to work. Can I say I was go? I went to work. I went. Exactly. Only 
I went. And this is a very common mistake I listened in different groups. Imagine that your classmate say, I don't like it. Me too. Hmm. Can I say that? Me neither. Ah, very good. Me neither. Negative, negative. Okay. If your classmate says, I like it, in that case, you can say, me too. Me too. But if it is in negative, I don't like it. I mean either, right? So mm -hmm. be careful because sometimes we always say me too and that's not the one. Any questions, everybody, before leaving? No. no? Okay, everyone, we don't have more time, but don't forget to continue working on the platform. Try to finish and complete the exam. Everybody, have a good night and only Marvin stay. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good Take bye. care. Good tomorrow. Good night. Goodbye. 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 See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Hello, Marvin. How are you? I'm very good. Excellent. So this moment is just to clarify some questions that you may have, not only about the class, but also about the platform or the course. So this is in general, and this is your moment. Okay. So, first of all, I want to congratulate, uh, congratulate you because I could see a very good advance on the platform. Yeah, teacher, but uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Um. Um, um th there are uh, there are questions when you uh, write the correct structure uh, the answer but uh, when you send or when you push send um, um the platform uh, resolve uh, uh, no correct uh, but, it's like like incorrect the answer uh -huh. but mm -hmm. you, but i check it uh, very no, very good i i don't know uh, i don't know because it resolved the answer the incorrect yeah but what happens sometimes uh, well each exercise is different but what happens sometimes is in this platform, every spelling is really important because one little mistakes, everything is wrong. So for example, mm -hmm. if you forgot the final point at the end of the sentence, mm -hmm. the sentence is incorrect. Or mm -hmm. if you are typing, for example, and you didn't add the apostrophe when you contract the answer, it's incorrect too. If in the instruction says write a negative form, but using contractions and you didn't use contractions is also incorrect. So in this case, when you are typing, you have to be very careful because if you forget, as I said, if you forget the last point, that may be a, a mistake. If you have issues, check uh, your exercises. And if you at the end say, no, but I had everything correct, you can take a screenshot and send it to me or send it in the group and I can help you to resolve okay. it. Mm -hmm. Because okay. most of the time, that's the issue. Sometimes it's one uh -huh. letter or just the apostrophe or the point. That's why that can be a mistake. Unfortunately. I hear you. I, he I hear you. Uh, I think the issue is the point of the final uh, topic or uh, I don't remember uh, I I have I, I can I uh, I don't remember that I can put uh, the um, the point so maybe that's why maybe that's that was the reason why you got a mistake but check Check the answers because if you already finish and you got a, a low score, you can try to do it again and try to improve your score. Because remember, the idea is to get at least 80%, right? In each unit, so you can have a good score at the end. 
Now, however, I'm checking your grades. And for example, in the midterm, in the exam, mm -hmm. you got, a, let's see, you got 80, so very good scored. And in the final test, you got 95. So that's a good score too. Very good job. So if you see your platform, this is the scores that I got for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe in these units is that you are a little bit low because you got 60. So maybe you, if you have the time, please try to review some of the exercises so okay. you can improve your grades, at least in an 80. The idea is 100, right? But if you get to the 80, that is the minimum, that will be great. All right? Okay. But so far, so good. I'm happy that you could work on the platform. That's great. So any other questions that you may have? No. About the it's, class? Uh, no. It's very clear, everything. All right, excellent. Now, before leaving, uh, Marvin, I just wanted to tell you, please be careful with the attendance. Okay, sometimes I could see that you missed some classes. So please mm -hmm. don't miss more classes. So I don't want you to be affected by the attendance. Okay, remember, okay. this is just the last week. So just try to be here, okay? Okay. Excellent. Okay, if you don't have any more questions, we are going to stop here. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow, teacher. Goodbye. Okay. Bye.